So now let's talk safety. So in regards to Puristats, there has never been any um, adverse events linked to the use of Puristat. So for yourselves and your clinical teams, it's extremely safe to use. There's no contraindications with, with the use of Puristat either. Um, there's no allergens to be aware of um, either based on the, um, the three A's that we've discussed previously in this video. So it is extremely safe for your teams to use. So not only is it quick and simple to set up, it's very safe to use. And because of this, it's now being used in other areas such as cardiac and ENT. So it's being widely accepted as a safe, uh, responsible tool to use for hemostasis. So in regards to your endoscopic view and how does that look like when we're using or once we have used Puristat, as said before, the hydrogel will not clog the endoscope itself or kind of the working channel, but neither will it clog or obscure any view from the stack system itself and the endoscopic view on the stack system, as you might get in some other uh, modalities. In regards to modalities itself, this is safe and is widely used um, in conjunction with things like clips, for example. So you can apply a dual modality to an area, again, for, for double kind of safety enclosure. So you can apply Puristat and then clip or vice versa. So again, it's great in regards to that. As I say, the endoscopic view, it doesn't get blocked, doesn't get clogged in any way. Um, you don't have to withdraw the scope, the main scope itself, to kind of wash and clean to then have to reinsert into the patient, which can be tricky. Once we've actually got in position, we don't really want to lose it. So the clear transparency of the gel aids and helps us there. Now, in regards to activating it and once we've, we've applied it on a bleed, you will notice that the bleed will either massively reduce or stop within 15 to 30 seconds. And then the IFU states that we have to wait around two minutes for it to fully work and work and do its magic, do its thing. And then we can re-intervene with either more gel if needed after those two minutes, or if we have achieved hemostasis, we can stop it there and we can continue with our procedure and we can move on. So again, it's a multi kind of use tool, which is very, very easy to apply. Doesn't block our view in any way, which is a great benefit. We don't have to regain and lose position and it stays clear and transparent for us. So now we're going to look at the targeted approach of Puristat, which again is one of its key benefits. So we've already highlighted and discussed that it's not going to block or obscure our view in any way, which is fantastic. It's, it's great. But also when we're applying, it is very, very targeted. So we can target specific areas if there's a specific area or point of, of bleed as such on a lesion. Or if we've done a resection, we can paint over the resection and apply it nice and simply like so. But again, one of the key features is that it is targeted. So it's not just going to go in and, and kind of say explode or, or cover the, the field of view. Not sure if we have targeted or covered the lesion itself, which was the whole point of using the tool. We can be targeted. It can be focused on the bleed site, on the lesion itself. And it's very, very clear and simple to do. Obviously it's transparent so we can see where we're applying it, which is a big thing, especially for things like resection. Once we've, we've done a resection, we can cover it so we can see that the whole site is clearly covered in Puristat, forming that mechanical barrier.